enthusiasts and welcome to the season 3 finale of Scaled Affairs, the show where I take a closer look on anime figures of all sorts. It has been a crazy year of collecting and I know lately big fancy scale figures have come up short on this channel, but for the last video in 2022 I have one banger left. So sit back and relax while I'll present to you this amazing scale figure of Hatsune Miku made by Hobby Stock and produced by Wing. She comes to you in a large window box that has some cute artwork of the original illustrations on it and does reflect the overall color scheme. It's a big box but also surprisingly narrow for such a lavish base and floaty hair. Other brands would have made this like double the width, but I guess Hobby Stock cares about proper box storage. Inside the box there is your typical plastic blister without a real face window that holds the figure and the base, and I was relieved when I saw that you can indeed dismount her from it. Because don't get me wrong, I dig the base design, but for more creative figure photos I think she will benefit greatly from the fact that you have to mount her on solid metal rods. By the way, mounting was surprisingly complicated, or maybe I was just clumsy, but the gap between her sneakers and the shooting star is so unnecessarily tight that while mounting the two elements always rubbed against each other. When she is fully mounted there is enough of a gap and like I said maybe I did it wrong, but in my opinion they could have solved this by just moving the decoration element a bit to the back. When she was first announced back in 2021, I was immediately hooked on the pastel colors alone, but I was also kinda shocked when I saw the MSRP of nearly 30,000 yen. I know that the digital star figures of Miku came a long way since 2019 and that currently figure prices are getting inflated like crazy, but for something that isn't all that detailed and huge compared to other releases, I was really wondering if this maybe has some LEDs or real speakers built into the base. But nope, it's just a well sculpted, well painted paperweight without any function in the shape of a cute anime girl. But before we dive any deeper, here are some of this figure's key specs. As a fan of music themed figures, I do like the base design with the oversized keys and speakers on each side. Even though this is not a very detailed mold, it's well crafted and has a solid paint job. Normally I would say that the stars and the moon looks tacked on and of course I would prefer it if they were removable as well, but honestly it's a really nice setup that almost looks like a miniature stage some could find in a shopping mall or toy store. Some of the elements on here are translucent, what gave me hope for some sort of illumination, but I guess if you want to have any LED to come with your figure, you have to switch to the even more expensive resin statues instead. Miku itself has a very cute outfit that combines casual elements like the sneakers and her cardigan with more girly looking accessories. The theme of stars is also reflected with the ornaments on her tie and headgear, while the whole outfit stays true to the color code, it all looks so harmonious. Besides obvious details like the rims and the ruffled shirt, there are two hidden things you will not notice if you only glance at Miku from the front. First she wears a pair of futuristic looking headphones that appear to be some sort of wireless model and then there is also the Zero One tag on her left arm. Of course this is a nod to her red tattoo, but on such a cute outfit I didn't expect the inclusion of a patch that has strong college vibes to it. In her right hand she holds a drum pad machine with some amazing details for its size and together with the headphones it gives this Miku a welcome modern touch. Her facial expression has this dreamy innocent look to it, together with the outfit pose and larger head sculpt, this figure of Miku has a very childlike appearance. I think it's fine, but maybe it could be improved if they added just a bit more contrast to her eyes, because they are so big, sometimes from some angles her face can look a bit flat. The hair strains are sculpted and painted very well, also I'm glad that they choose against translucent tips and that they went with a gradient instead. In conclusion, this Miku is definitely an eye catcher and one of the more spectacular releases of this year. Regardless if you are a fan of the character, the art style, the colors or just want to add a new member to your band themed showcase, I'm sure she will enrich almost every collection. The only thing that could be a hindrance to that is her very expensive retail price. For me personally this is a clear step up from last year's version and I can't wait how this year's version will turn out. It sure looks, well, let's say very different from this style. Speaking of different, what about this show? I'm now finished the third year of video reviews and somehow I'm in the mood for a change. So maybe the fourth season of Scaled Affairs will be totally different than the current style. Or maybe I just change minor details like the music or the intro. 
I guess only time will tell. With the recent price hikes and the fall of affordable fast delivery via airmail, ordering figures has become more troublesome than ever, but of course I will continue buying new ones for my photos and whenever I do so, chances are high that I will also make a review of some sort for them. Regardless, I hope you had a great year of collecting and that you still enjoy the hobby. If you want to stick around, maybe subscribe to the channel so that we can see each other again in 2023 when I once again take a closer look on anime figures of all sorts. For now, take care and happy holidays!